Okay, so what are we doing here? Here what we're doing is we're gonna go through a process. A process that I've coined as the three to four to two to one method. Yes, for solving systems of three equations with three unknowns. I've drawn a game plan, a map, kind of like a Madden does. Oh, boom, yeah. Um, over here, I'm starting out with three equations with three unknowns. All right, far out. Let's get an example using this three to four to two to one method. Yeah. Here I have three equations with three unknowns. I'm gonna arbitrarily label them in an order that they're given. I'm gonna call this equation one, this equation two, and this equation three. Tee hee. Tee hee. Now what I wanna do is I wanna pick a variable to eliminate. Which one? I wanna go and I wanna eliminate the y variable. Great. I've indicated that that's the one I wanted to take care of. All right, so now I need to break up into some pairings. I'm going to attempt to pair one and two and one and three. I can pair them in any order I want because one of them is gonna to belong to both of the subdivisions. Right. What I wanna do is I wanna pair them off and I wanna bracket them kind of like a sporting event. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's pair, let's pair one and two and then down here, I'll pair one and three. Yeah, all right, fine. So let's go ahead and rewrite those. So then I'm gonna have x minus y plus three. Z is eight, great. And three x plus y minus two. Z is a minus two. Oh, and then down here in this pairing, I'm gonna pair one and three, so this is gonna be x minus y plus three. Z is eight. Great. And then three, this is two x plus four y plus z is nothing. And now what we've done is we've separated our three equations with three unknowns into different pairings, like this one. Okay, so now I was eliminating which variable? Y. All right, what am I gonna have to do here to eliminate Y? Hmm, do I have to multiply by anything? No, I already have added in inverses. So, I can just go ahead and add them. Yeah, um, add them straight on down. This is a uh, four, sure, X. Minus y and plus y is no y, the desired effect. Plus z is six. Very nice, you get to move on. I'll put you down here. So this is gonna be four x plus z is six. This is equation four, sure. But wait, there's more. I wanna also perform the elimination of y, the extermination of y in this pairing. Yeah, so I need to get out of inverses. That means I need to multiply the top one by four, sure. But what you do on the one side? You must also do one to the other. So then it goes, and I have four x minus four y plus 12 z is, oh geez, eight times four, I think it's 32. Oh, and then I don't need to do anything to the bottom because I already have the added inverse of y. So then this is two x plus four y plus z is nothing. Yeah, great. So now that I have the additive inverses, it's time to add them. 4x and 2x is 6x. You're out of here. Plus 13z is 32. Oh, nice. So we've eliminated y. And I'm going to put that down here. This is equation 5. In equation 5, I'm going to have 6x plus 13z is 32. I'm going to separate it off into pairings, and in each one of these pairings, I'm gonna eliminate the same variable. So equation four is only gonna be in terms of x and z. And this equation five is only of variables x. Now what do you do? You have choices in four and five. You have choices in four and five. You can eliminate your x's, or you can eliminate your z's. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna multiply the top one by a minus 13. Ooh, ooh. That's what. 
52x minus 52x yeah um and a minus 13z yes but what you do on the one side you must also do under the other multiply this one by minus 13 also what is 6 times 13 I'm hoping it's 78. Let's see, that's 18, carry a 1, 6, seven. yes. And then I don't need to do anything to the equation 5. This is going to be 6x plus 13z is 32. Yeah. So then I'm going to add them. And the difference is, count down, 46x is, no way, a minus 46. Awesome. So then this is that equation six out. Now our process is nearly complete. Here, we're down to almost our last step before our back substitution. We have one equation with one unknown. Here's six. And six is 46x is a minus 46. Yeah. So then I divide both sides by 46 and x turns out to be a minus one. Fun. Now, where you want to stick that? You want to put that back into four or five. Hmm. Yeah, I'll call this a um, six. Where do you want to sub six? Sub six into hmm. Let's put it into four. Sure. So that says every word before I see an x, I'm gonna put a minus one. And here we go. This is four times a minus one plus z is six. Finish him. That's a minus four. So then I need to add that to both sides. Is z really gonna be ten? That seems a little high. <laughs> so then z is equal to. Wait for it, wait for it. Hey, there's nothing we can do here. That's, um, yeah, 10. Z is 10. So x is minus 1 and z is 10. I'm going to take those, and I'm going to set those up into the original. Which original? Doesn't matter to me. Let's uh, plug it into... 3. I'll call this one 7. Great. Sub 7. And six into three. Tee hee, tee Sub six into. Hmm. Put it into four. Sure. So that says every word before I see an X, I'm gonna put a minus one. And here we go. This is four times a minus one plus Z is six. Shoot, I hope that's right. So now I have an X, a Y, and a Z. And what's my point? My point is the solution to a system is a point. And my point is of the form X, Y, Z. So what was my x value? Minus one, yeah. And my y value? Minus two. And my z value? 10. Then nine, and then what? Yeah! A box. Kind of flat. Study. Be somebody.